Hello everybody, my name is Jen Fire and welcome back to another episode from the Unity Cast server. Right, you can see where I am. You can see what's not been done yet. We still haven't finished the horns. We've done the template all the way over there. We need to get this done. Today, we get this done. We're going to put the horns in, we're going to do some more of the bodywork, we're going to do the front legs. That is today's mission. Let's get on with it. Guys, I am super excited about the way that this has turned out. Look at those horns. Look at that. You can see at the bottom there, I have started working on the chin on the underside. Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, you can see I've started to extend the scaffolding out across the bottom of the body. Now, this is what we're going to do now. Extend the scaffolding, extend the body, and then color the body in. That is our next step but before I do that I need to make a few things I need to make more scaffolding because I didn't really have enough this is about all I had so we're gonna go over here hidden in this mountain I actually have my spider farm if you guys remember this from earlier in the season we've got a double poison spider spawner over here so I'm going to collect some string so I can make some more scaffolding and I'll be back with you in a moment. And just like that guys, we have a shulker full of scaffolding. Let's go over there, let's put this out. And we will continue to work on that neck on the dragon. Okay, here we are underneath the dragon. I've started to put some more scaffolding out. I'm just going to put another little bit out as well. Okay, so that is a heck of a lot of scaffolding, but hopefully now I should have no problem staying underneath the dragon without falling while I work on her belly. So let's go and get our supplies and continue. That, look, right there. That is where I left my little stone cutter. I've been looking everywhere for that. We just found it, guys. I've spent a couple of minutes now and I've just done the underneath of the belly. Let's have a look on the other side as well. Perfect. See, underneath the belly. These little white dots are where I'm going to be putting the shoulders for the front legs. Because all this is going to come out, fill in the back of the head. And that's going to be my next step. I'm going to need to put all the yellow down and go get some green, I think. That's her colored in for what I've built so far. If we have a little look over here, I've done both sides. We've got a darker green along the ridge. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> and I've filled in the back of the jaw as well. So she's now got a fully enclosed head. Let's have a look around. On both sides. So, next we're going to do the front legs and then we're going to continue to do the body. Now, I'm thinking I want her to bend around this way a little bit. Maybe hump up a little, come around this side. But I am pretty happy with what's going on so far. Nailed the landing. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's do some legs. You can see I've put a little shoulder in on this side, just a little ways down. On the other side, I've done the same. 
This is taking me a while. I've had to replace these several times because this one was far too out there. If we look at that, you can see the shoulders are level. I think I am going to pull all of the scaffolding down now. Because this scaffolding is... I don't need it all the way to the face anymore. I don't need all this over here. I don't need all this over here. We're going to be moving the scaffolding back. And we need to be able to get underneath here to make the arms. So, we need to redo the scaffolding. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at this mess of spaghetti. Now, here's a question. Can you shoot scaffolding? No. That's a shame. That would have been really cool if I could just stand here and knock them out pillar by pillar. Okay, so we're going to go swimming. We're going to poke that. That is so satisfying. Just look at it, the section's dissolving. Let's go, yeah. Look at that, this is so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. No, thank you. Oh, you came to give me a piece back. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this is so much fun. Whee! Right. I had to clean up this mess. Now that we've pulled all the scaffolding down, guys, I am actually building it back up again around where I'm going to be building the arm so I don't have to keep going up and down. As you can see here, I've done all the stuff on what is the dragon's left hand side to us, it's the right. I've actually done a staggered scaffolding because this is going to be coming down. How I'm going to have this arm. Is from the shoulder here we're going to go back a little bit back and down a little bit and then we're going to go sideways over here and we're going to have the claw somewhere around here and that is my plan i'm going to do something similar on the other side but we're going to start over here have a look at this guys we've got the top of the arm sorted i've changed the whole shoulder into the colors I wanted it and I started with this piece on the front and then I realized that my template was a little bit too thin so I added another color here I fattened it out a little by going backwards and then I filled in the other side as well so I started off with a 2d thing and then I made it 3d so we're down to the elbow here if we have a look underneath where, where is the thing? There it is. If we have a look underneath, you can see where I've gone 2D and then filled it in. So this is going to be the elbow here. So now we're going to come down this away. And that is going to be our next section. That is looking pretty sweet. But now that you can see, see the 3D. I've also made myself a little runway out here so I don't have to keep wasting rockets every time I want to have a look from a distance.
Here we go. That is starting to look more and more like an arm. This is fantastic. Just bring on the inside and lit all of that up so we don't get anything spawning inside her. I'm really liking how this is turning out. Just need to work out how I'm going to do the claw next. I know roughly what I want it to look like. It's just a case of how do I go about that so it's organic looking but still sharp. I'm going to have a little fiddle around, see if I can do the claw. You can see I've brought the yellow underneath of the forearm here. On the outside, we've got the darker green. I think I've got the basic shape that I want. Let's stand back a little bit, see if that looks any good. We've got the wrist there. I think I need to slim that down a little bit here. But I think this is a good shape, what I want. I do think it needs a finishing touch here. Here and here. Here and here. Let's have a look at that. Perfect. And then we just need to trim this a little bit. Let's trim that one. And that one there. That's better. There's a more defined wrist there. Pick that up. Right. I think. Let's move this. This is looking amazing, guys. This is better than what I imagined she would look like. Obviously, I've only done the one arm at the minute. We still need to do the other side. But we've got a good idea of what we want to do. There you go. So now just to do the other side. As you can see, I've just spent a little bit of time moving the scaffolding from this side over to this side. And then I went to go and start the second shoulder. And lo and behold, I've run out of concrete. And I need the dark concrete. I need the green concrete for the darker outer layer around the back side of the arm. So came down here to my concrete box that I left here on the dock and there wasn't really much concrete so I needed to go to the desert to get more sand so I went to the desert to get more sand now as I'm mining away I'm having a little chat with some good peeps and I well look at my hot bar I broke my spoon I broke my spoon. I know. I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. I did get like almost two boxes of sand. See? And then my spoon broke. So I've got my purse right here. I've got my diamonds ready to go. I'm just going to go and buy one from Q. I, I, I don't care that there's a war going on about people buying stuff from different people. I, I, there, there, there's supply and demand here. He's supplying, I'm demanding it. It's been a while since I've been through here, since I got my elytra. I've been flying everywhere, but oh my goodness, that looks so beautiful. Mopey and sleepy. Oh, it's a suspended crystal. I love it. That is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Love it. Anyway, through we go. 
Oh, and it tinkles as well. I love that noise. Oh, there's a, there's a... Divine, okay. I wasn't there earlier. Now, Mr. Q's base, or shop rather, is this... Some people saying it's a 15, some people saying it's is, some people on the other side saying it's a 21. Nobody knows. Here we are. Look at the shop, guys. Wondering if there are any spoons anywhere. I've got lighters. And stuff. Let's have a no, that's just a bed. Okay. I need a spoon. What's in here? Place order here. Place payment here. I need a spoon. That's all I need. Is that a ladder? Staff only upstairs. Okay, so that was a big fail. Does anybody want my money? I I, I need to buy a spoon. Are there any other shops around here selling stuff? This area has really changed. Oh look, someone's doing like a windmill farm up here. I wonder if Sleepy Snail... This is so cute. Whose is this? Where is Sleepy Snail? So many amazing builders on the server. Where is Sleepy's area? Have I gone past it? There it is. I was on the wrong side of the mountain. Let's have a look in Sleepy's shop. Okay, this looks to be all stone and stuff. Nope. Oh, netherite. Oh. That's interesting. Empty floor. Nobody selling spoons today. <sighs> Fine. I'll go and make one. It's taken me a little bit of time because I've had to AFK the gold farm for some levels, but I now have a nice, shiny, clean spoon. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, cl nice, shiny, clean spoon. However, when I was rooting around in my ender chest for stuff and some things, you'll see that there are now four boxes here instead of two. Um, yeah, I already had two full boxes of sand in my ender chest. Well done, Jen. You just broke your spoon for no reason whatsoever. And now you still got to go and mine the gravel to go with all this to make the concrete. So, while I'm gathering materials, let's have a look at what we've got so far. Always nighttime. That's okay because it looks pretty cool. There we go. We have finished the horns today. We have finished the back of the head. We have colored in the body and we have at least one arm. We have the left arm and the place for the right arm to go. All I need to do now is a serious grinding session to get some more materials. But I'm afraid that's all I've got time for today. If you have liked it, don't forget to like and leave a comment. Let me know how... Let me know how I'm doing. You have through the scaffolding. Hi, how you doing? Um... We have got the Discord as well. If you want to come and join the peeps over there, we have got an amazing community full of wonderful, wonderful people. And a big thank you as well to my Patreons whose name are on the end tile screen. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.